Hey Fuzzy Goat family, Melissa here in Thomasville, Georgia on this wonderful Tuesday. Hope everyone's having a good day and had a good weekend, relaxing and hopefully you did something fun. What I'm wearing, I'm gonna talk about today. This is something, a kit that we picked up at Market and I don't think you guys have seen it yet. So um, it's a little scarf with some tassels, three colors and let me just show you. It is called Painted Plains and this is, sorry for the noise, this is the colorway and this, here's the packaging. And this is this colorway. And then we had to, cause we were extra here at Fuzz Goat, we're extra. And hello, Rosemary and Lynn and Lil Lois. Thank you for watching and Rita, hello. And this is the colorway that we created. So blues, really pretty. Um, this colorway is called Mermaid okay, with the blues. And the one I'm wearing, I believe, is on the road. I think it's on the road. So two colorways. And it's called Painted Plains. So soft. And I really am considering this one because it just looks fun. Let me show you the little stitches up here. Yeah. Looks fun. So anyway, that's I want to show you that you guys that. This is from Polka Dot Sheep. And again, we found it at Market. So we had some other polka dot sheep that came in, so I wanted to show you some of that. In the theme of, I am going to Scotland next week, and so I'm contemplating what I'm gonna be bringing on the plane and what I'm gonna be knitting with. So I think on the plane I might, well, a couple things. If I can get to the point where I can bring a sweater that I wanna wear there and work on the sleeves, I think I can get by with that on the plane, right? Because there's I use the nine inch circular. So I think I can do that. But I also thought about socks. So with that in mind, I have a couple things I want to show you. We got some new, and I think I've shown you these before, but I don't think we had pictures of what it would look like. So we have these little sock kits from Manos. Am I saying that right? Yes, I am. We have this colorway, which is, oh gosh, Caravan? No, yeah, Caravan, sorry. Caravan, this colorway, so you can do well, I'll show you the colorways, and then I'll show you how they're going to turn out, okay? And then this one is uh, Tuggler? Juggler. <laughs> Juggler. And then one other colorway. This one is called, I think it's Circus. Okay, sorry. All right, so the three colorways. These are how they will turn out. Maybe I did show you guys this. I don't remember. Um, this is, let me just turn around here. Caravan is this one right here. Um, jugglers is one on the other end. And then the circus is the one right next to it. So we have this colorway, this colorway, and this colorway. Isn't that fun? So they're, the stripes are, are specific or special for these socks because they're quick, short, right? How do you say that? Short, short stripes? Thin stripes. Thin stripes. That's what I'm looking for. So um, check those out. This is the Manos, what are we calling these? Uh, Super Pool, Alleg Alegria Super Pool is what we're calling them. If you want to see, check those out online, fuzzygoatyarns.com. So that's one thing I want to show you, super soft. Um, yeah, so that's one option for socks for my trip. And let's see, what else? Okay, also came across this pattern that I've had for a while. And I think at one point it was no longer on Ravelry, then they brought it back. It's called Rose, Rose City Rollers. And these are little shorties. And really cute with those stripes. Isn't that cute? Oh, my husband's asking if I'm making socks. Maybe, and maybe for you, who knows? So um, Rose City Rollers is a fun, easy pattern for shorties, which I think my kids might actually wear that. But they haven't asked, so I'm not making them any socks. Then this is the one I am plan to do. It's called Magic Heel Socks. All right. And the gist with this is you're making a tube, right? I'm, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to read you off her pattern. Here. And I'm going to show you one other picture, and then I'm going to read you why this is the benefits of this type of pattern. And then here's a better picture of what's happening there. And can you see the heel? It's kind of just ribbing. So easier to fit people. All right, so let's tell you, let's talk about why the Magic Heel socks would be good. 
All right. Um, no finicky heel means these socks are a complete joy to knit, uh, especially for beginner or nervous sock knitters. So that's me. I am a new sock knitter. It's knit cuff down, but easily adjustable to knit toe up if you chose to do that. I actually like cuff down, personally. They're ideal if you're using self-striping yarn because the stripes will be uninterrupted, which would be awesome for these little guys. And what else? Perfect for fast growing children's feet because they're quick to knit and the heel can accommodate multiple sizes. So I think you are like doing some kind of a ribbing for the heel and you do it like for five inches. So that's why it, it can fit many people. Like the kids can grow into it. Um, they make the best gifts, especially when you're not exactly sure of the size feet your recipient has. The perfect way to keep them in a surprise, keep it a surprise. And when your socks finally wear out, you can easily mend them. Mm, I don't think I'm going to be mending any socks, but just in case you wanted to, they're easy to mend. So there we, oh yeah, some other fun stuff. Y'all better hunker down, maybe get some tea or something, because we might be here a hot minute. Um, I get to show some new stuff. That's so fun. All right, so that's the Magic Heel sock. So just saying, I think that's going to go on the plane with me. Well, let me show you some other new sock options um that we got from polka dot sheet these all these have nylon in them which would be great for socks so here we go his first one uh uh coloma so it's got some grays some blues maybe and a little bit of yellow all right i just love this color this kind of reminds me of of another color we have from another vendor um okay this is polka dot sheep fine yarns and it's this is tenderfoot and the tenderfoot is the 80 percent wool 20 percent uh nylon this color is slate i just i really like a slate i think you can do a lot with the slate I'll put these up next to each other maybe this one is kind of it's kind of what i've been knitting right on lately oh what is this anaconda it just the pinks the oranges it just looks i don't know refreshing this is a fun one too, which would be fun in socks. Um, this is Aurora. Look at that one. Yep. Then we got some more neutral ones. I can't hold it on my hands. This one is Pygmy Owl. Very neutral, but nice. This is a nice one too. Um, Driftwood. So yeah, like it looks like kind of gray up there, but looks nice with my nail polish. This is a fun one because the thing I like about socks is you can get crazy and have fun with it, even if you're just doing a simple pattern and they just kind of peekaboo through, your, you know, under your pants, which I kind of like that. So um, this one is, what's the color of this one? Trout. Look at that. Isn't that fun? Totally fun. It's got some black specks in there too. A couple more colors here, you guys. Stay with me. Um, this one is Swift. Oh, and look, that's got some pink. This one's a fun one. And then we got these two, which are totally up my alley. Let's see, this color is... Does this say Melissa? Melisandro, I think is what it's called. Look at that, it's totally my color. Yeah, I know, Rita. Like, start some socks, like, just to have. Like, I don't know. I just think it's kind of... It's nice to have them on the go, and you, and I think they go pretty quickly if you can start that second sock. That's the problem. All right, this color. I'm sorry, got distracted. I distracted myself. East side is this color. That was pretty cool too. Okay, so I just wanted to show you those because um, they're kind of fun and they're new in the shop. Socks, maybe for socks. I, I'm also going to show you some combinations for maybe some color work in a sweater because you know I like to do my sweaters. All right. Uh, what else do I want to show you? We're going to talk about new stuff first. Look at these. Fuzzy Goat Stitch Stoppers. Isn't that awesome? So we have a bunch in the shop. So get them now while they're hot off the press. I have mine on one of my projects as well. So fun. I showed you those. Um, I wanted to show you... I know I think I showed you these last week, but I actually found some patterns for them. Uh, this is... Um, Pasquale, Puna, P-U-N-O, Puno, Puno, I'm not sure. Okay, so I have a bunch of different colorways. 
Yes, those. If, uh, Vicky says she needs those fuzzy goat toppers. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. So fun. All right, so I'm going to show you the colors. Last week we didn't have them in the system, so I didn't have the, the names. This color is fern. This color is saffron. Of course, we have a natural one here. This is birch. Not sure, birch, birch something. And these are cotton and then some alpaca fiber, which makes it very, very soft. I'm trying to see if I can read the percentage. Probably not. 70% cotton, 30% alpaca. They have, what's the yardage? That, that's somebody getting some uh, fuzzy goat stoppers. Let's see, uh, yardage. Why well, can't I see that? It's probably on ours. I can read it better. Yeah, 218 yards, okay. I'm just gonna set these down right here. Sorry. This one is Rose Quartet, I'm guessing. Of course, this is my color right here. Mulberry. What's this one? Oak Tree. So some neutrals there. And we have these fun colors. And I'm going to show you some patterns that you could do with them. These are, we classify them as fingering weight. Uh, this is Ocean. And this one is Road, Rose, Rose Hip, Rose Hip. Okay. I've been knitting because we've been having some really ridiculous car situations going on. I think that's what happens when you just try to keep old cars on the road, right? It's just part of it. But my daughter texted me today. She, her car just broke down again today. And I'm like, oh my gosh, she just, we had it in, in where was she? Birmingham, Alabama from Auburn. It broke down and we had to get it fixed. And she actually drove it late at night, which I wasn't happy. But anyway, got it fixed, and then it broke down again today. So that's why we knit, right? Oh, Leslie's watching. Hi, Leslie. Leslie is my, probably one of my old, dear oldest, oh, goes back the farthest. Now I'm going to call her old, because she's actually just a little bit older than me. But, um, so she's watching. Hi, Leslie. All right, so with those cotton cashmeres I just showed you, showing you the basket. I thought this was a fun one. Um, somebody had recently asked me about a sweater for her husband. She'd like to make one. And here's, I found this, Vest Max. Um, this? What weight? This is finger. Oh. Oh, that would be pretty. A sport. Uh, baby alpaca? Is that what yeah. yeah, baby alpaca. I've been eyeing that color. All right, so this is the Vest Max. I'm going to give you just a quick rundown. It goes all the way up to an extra, extra large, which I know when I made my dad's vest, that was an issue, was trying to find one that would, would was a larger size. Um, you can make this in five to seven little balls that I just showed you, okay? So if you're looking to maybe make something for your husband, friend, whatever. And then let's see, this one I actually, and you know I, I like this sweater, so that's probably what I'm gonna go to. <laughs> this is called Surrey Shirt V-neck. And I'm going to tell you, this is by Cardi, I think her name is. She's the same one that I did my, pro she's the designer of the Promenade blouse. So, um, I don't know, I think it's really cool. And then I'm going to show you this side because the back is a V-neck too. I just think that's really cool. And of course you can make it longer. This is, um, uh, when I looked at, hi there, how are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Good. When I looked at what I would make, I would make the largest, large, 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 size large. Hi, And, uh, which would be a 44 inch finish width. And it would take five balls of the yarn. I showed you that cotton ball, which would be so lovely in this weather. I have one other pattern I want to show you using that. I like them. Let's see, we got here. Um, I'm going to mess it. It's not, it's J O N G L E U S E. So it, it does come in an English version, so I did check it out. But look at that. I, I really like the slit here. It's yeah, got a lot yeah, of a la bowl, not right? lace, really uh, but like holes. <laughs> and I like the neckline <laughs> there as well. Um, let me show you. Yeah. I will put these links up um, as well on, on the live here. And, um, so that looks like a fun one too. Something different. I don't know. I'm just going to talk about the sweater that I'm wearing is the Joni. I'll stand up because I want, it's got some neat features. So it's. Um, see, I like to have a little shaping there. I did do some shaping on the side. You don't have to. I have, um, obviously, variegated yarn. It sh would show up beautiful in just a solid. 
Um, yes, I will. Uh, yes, Linda, I will definitely post the patterns underneath on our comments when I get off of all of those patterns I just talked about and the one I'm wearing. So just check out there. Um, let me get y'all a little closer. We just have to keep it from the shop. So. All right. Um, what else do I want to talk about? So all of oh, funny, funny story. So um, we're going to see my my son. Well, he's my son's in Scotland right now doing some classes. And there's some shenanigans going up there. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm that kind of mother that when I hear shenanigans are going on, I'm like, please don't let it be my son. Please don't. Let I'm not the one that says it can't possibly be my son. Well, I was with that way with all my children because I just you know you just hope that you know they're doing the right thing. Anyway, apparently he wasn't involved because I haven't been told. But. The funny thing is, is I have been cutting my son's hair for 10 years. He goes over to Scotland and within two days, he got his hair cut. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. I'm a little worried what the feedback they might have given him about what his hair, the shape of his hair, but we're gonna be okay, we're gonna let that go. Um, and maybe I need to get a haircut over there. Maybe they have good haircuts over there, I don't know. All right, so let's talk about my crotch. Oh, I have one other thing I wanna show you. Um, I'm sorry. There, we just. I will try. I'll try to talk louder here. Hold on. Get my. If that helps. I don't know. I'm turning up the volume. All right. So we have this um, bun baby blanket kit that we got at market. And let me just show you a picture. I don't know if you can see it. Yes. Yes. So there's the pattern. Okay. And let me show you how it works. So you have a skein. Of this, this cotton is so soft. And this is a, it's a comb. So most of it is this. We have a little color in this, and then we have this guy. Isn't that fun? Just so it's gonna be held together with one of these. I can't remember which one to give it a little pop, and then you can make some tassels because everybody needs tassels. So we have this in two colorways. So this is more our, our neutral or a male or a boy or whatever. It's really not one way or another. The other one just happened to be pink, but you know, look at this. So fun. Isn't that fun? And then it's got this same cotton. So this would be the main color, the main yarn. Okay, I just want to show you these. This is called with the comb. Here we go. Um, Lord. Baby blanket kit unicorn. So you get the other color too. So baby blanket type stuff. Fun. I'm throwing yarns, y'all. Okay, all right. Oh, I left my projects all the way over there. I was so excited about showing you, you guys. Your bag, your yes. red bag. Both of them. I'll just bring them all. You just put them right here. <laughs> Project time. Man, you got a lot in there. I know. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to talk louder. I'm trying to be louder. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Renunculus classes. We have had two classes. Um, one of the classes we did just on short rows. Um, on German short rows to get people through that. Some people got further, got into the lace, and that's fine. Uh, this is my mom's. I finally got done with her length, and I'm on the ribbing down here, and you do switch needles. I went to a smaller needle size. And then I got sleeves to do. So this is using the goat colorway and ranunculus, right? Got some nice lace work up here. So I'm also working on one for myself in the DK. So that one may go on the plane. It looks like we have a slow connection here. Um, but I, so I'm, I'm thinking I might bring the DK with me on the plane if I don't get the sleeves done. But let me show you that one. Um, this is the one I have my stitch stoppers on. My fuzzy got stitch stoppers. Thank you, Lynn. I, my mom, yeah, she liked, I, you know, I have mine in that go colorway, and that's what my mom saw and said she wanted one just like it. So we're going to be twins. All right, so here's my DK in the color that my husband says is not me, which he's right. I don't wear this very often, but I think I can get away with it, and it does make me happy. And I have gotten, I'm in my ribbing on this one. It's a simple rib. It's, um, Lord, is, you know, you knit through the back. I just, twisted rib. There we go. I think I have maybe another inch, inch and a half. I have tried mine on. I will encourage, and I need to send a text out to those people in my classes to do that, to try it on somewhere in the process before you're too far gone. I tried it on before I did the ribbing, and 
I'm gonna probably try and I wanna get another inch because I think it's gonna be long enough. And I have an outfit picked out for it. Do y'all do that? Like just have that, remind them you are doing, <laughs> I thought, <laughs> got a fuzzy on my lip. Uh, my husband would like me to remind you, which I have a note to tell you, I'm going to try to do my live in Edinburgh next week. Hopefully, you know, with the time change, hopefully I won't mess it up, but that's my plan. Maybe I can show you what I've done on the plane. I don't know what else, but. So this is the Renunculus and the DK. I am enjoying the DK on on this pattern, actually. It's been, it's been nice. I did go up a size, because I did not have gauge. Remember that conversation? And so far, so good. I think it's gonna fit me, fit me right. And a lot of people in the class were also doing that, because they didn't get gauge with the needle but they liked the way the fabric was, so we went up a um, garment size, if that makes sense. All right, what else I got here? This, I haven't moved my project out of this, but this, oh yeah, this is, I've got some options to show you on this. This is a dick thing. Oh Lord, hold on, sorry. This, let me see what's really called this one. Pop Rocks, this is a Pop Rocks. Look at how fun. I, I have to stop myself. I was up many, many a nights this weekend. Not really, maybe two. Where I just wanted, like the first night, I just wanted to see what this was going to look like and how this was going to happen. Or maybe, no, I had that done last week. I was doing this part, but I wanted to start this again. And this one has two, I don't know what you call them. They're not really bobbles. So what you do is you you knit five rows of, this, of the contrast color. And on the fifth row, you come back through with the main color and you go down all the way to where the last main color was and you undo these stitches. But it's a little scary and it does take, like I think it almost took me 45 minutes to do one, the last round here. Now it was late at night, so I go a little slower. But um, so now I'm going to be doing some short rows, some increases, and there's one more round, which has three of those little balls. I just, it was just so fun to do. And of course the color's fun. So uh, with that, let me show you just a couple combinations using the polka dot that I thought might be fun for this sweater or any color work sweater, actually, for that matter. All right, let's see real quick. This one's fun. And maybe you guys saw some other combinations, but I thought this would be fun. This could be your main color, and this could be your color work, or you could do it the other way. That would be really fun, too. So, that's one. And a little, little slower, maybe, but like you could do this. It wouldn't be quite as contrasting, or even the other way. Like this could be your main, or vice versa. I think that would be fun. And then I also had this one. Well, you could do it with this, right? Or you could do it with this. So yeah, I don't know. I, I just wanted to show you some combinations. So, and I don't necessarily always stay within the same yarn vendor. You know, like when I'm doing color work. It, I mean, I guess it's helpful to do that. I don't necessarily do that. I do try to do my game swatch so I know how it's going to react. This is my other kind of out of character color way. Ooh, got some stuff. And this one I have to stop myself too. So this is um, Poth Pothos. P O T H O S. I'll put the link up. And I just think that's so fun. So I think the ribbing. Let's get the picture up. Now I'm looking at it going, huh? It was supposed to be, the green was supposed to be further up, but I chose not to do that. I didn't want it that high on me. Yeah, so that's, that's exactly what I did. I waited till I got to the charts to start my color work. So this is, this is the picture. So this should have been all green, but I just start with my green down here. Uh, so yeah, it's really fun. I will say, it's interesting, I was going to talk to Keynes about this, but you know, there's some carries in here, and I noticed because my color work is such a bright color that it was showing through in some cases. So I decided to do my backward loop jacquard, which is why you see all those markers. It's just reminding me that I've got an extra loop there. And the reason why is because it holds your carry away from the fabric, so you can't see through, you know, can't see it through. Uh, when you will see it through is when you're done carrying that. And, but like other, ways of carrying yarns, I would see it every time I carried it. So, I don't know if that makes sense, but, um, Carla, thank you, she's wishing me, I, your computer's not keeping up, but I think we're having some connection issues here too, so, but anyway, so this is Pothos Pullover, I'm saying, 
and I'll put the link up. Really fun. The yarn I'm using is Ryan Yarn. This is a yarns. I can't even remember. Um, and it's got it's um, wool nylon. I just like that little bit of nylon. I think especially in color work is what I'm guessing because it gives it some some poof. All right. I'm gonna trip coming out here. So much stuff. All right. So I got a couple more to show you guys. Um, I'm working my way through the um, knit along. Oh, oh, okay, I'm almost done with the ball. That's very exciting. That's very exciting. Yeah, but you can use it. My first ball. So um, I am finished. It's really hard to see. Oh, let me see if I can get the front. What's happening here? This is a sleeve. I don't know if you'd want to put it in the dryer. Okay, and that's like the front, I believe. Maybe that's the back. That's the back. This is the front. I'm out of shape. So now where I'm at is I think I have six rows where they just have you do some getting my stitches up to, you know, not necessarily for the raglan sleeve. So I think I have six, six rows of that, and then I will separate the sleeves, which is super exciting. So my plan is to work this tonight. Say it with me, work on this tonight. Because I really like working on color work. Hello, Harriet. And anyway, so separating the sleeves, I probably won't bring this one with me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to bring with me, but I, do, I did think about my plane travel. I am checking the bag so I can bring as many projects and needles as I want, but anyway, so that's the lemon spritz knit along by Marie Green. So that's a fun pattern. Um, I, she's recommended um, to use plant fiber. So I'm using silk and cotton. Is silk a plant or so is silk an animal fiber? I don't know. So we'll see how it goes. I got Gage. Um, Renee says she started the, oh, you started the lace. I think the lace will be super fun and I think it'll go fast. How's it going, Renee? I hope it's going well. And I don't know, have you tried yours on, Renee? I'm thinking I should try mine on once I separate the sleeves. That'll be my plan. Okay, this one. All right. This is Navali. Again, color work. Color work, color work, color work. Let's see if I can get that down. This is that harbor color. Uh, that, I just love that yes. blue. So I have a, I have an outfit planned for this, but it's not going to make the trip to Scotland because I have mm, a couple more inches here of just knit. I will need to. And uh, got four inches. Then I'll probably just see where it is on me because I might do a little bit more. And then we separate the sleeves and then we go back and forth. Um, and the sleeves are not much of anything, so it's just getting through. Oh, Virginia, halfway through the lace. Are you enjoying the lace? I'm, I'm looking forward to the lace. I'm thinking it's like you might have to have the pattern for a little while and then not, but maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, I think this is the last project. Yep, I'm sorry, I'm rambling on. Hope you had something to drink with you, a little tea, some water maybe. So we have so this yes. one I, I so got picked up up last um, night, and this is the Isabel Kramer. Kit. Oh, oh, yeah. um, is Westbourne. Okay, and it makes me think of we have um, Barbie. I don't know why. It's fun. Not the stripes. The here we go. I'm gonna talk about the stripes a little bit. Um, the pattern really is fingery, but I have decided, and Kate is too, to use um, surrey silk for the stripe. Just to kind of change it up, and I'm really, I thought, oh boy, this is going to be secret. It really isn't. The stripe is only three stripes, and um, two versions on the sweater. I think we, do, yeah, I think I pick up for the neck. I think I don't know. I can't remember if we do something for the neckline here or not. Um, it's kind of a scoop neckline. The, and she has a day version and a night version. The day version has stripes. All the way down the um, sleeve. The night so version, no stripes on the sleeve. So that's what I'm doing. I have, I have not. That and it has a bottom yet, similar so to I'm this not. one I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Westbourne. Yeah. So this has been fun, super fat. I mean, because there's, no, you know, you're just they switching yarn. I'm trying to uh, carry, have asked, we have and I'm trying to do a jaw of stripe. And the way I'm doing, I know there's lots of ways to do that. When I I start the new color, when I get back around to it. I'm just slipping that first stitch. So technically, like the very first part of the row will only, let's just say, have two stitches of my Surrey Silk, and every other one will have three. 
but you can't see it. First of all, it's underneath the arm, but you really can't tell because it's kind of an elongated okay. stitch, so you can't see it. So that makes it a jobless you, stripe. Can't, I can always so, to anyway, job. that's what I have for you. I'm sorry I've taken up so much time, but I always enjoy visiting with you guys. And um, stay tuned for Tuesday. Bye bye. Because I'm hoping that I can tune in with you guys and just show you what I'm working. Oh, I do have one other thing I'm going to show you. These are these are the yarns I might be doing some socks in. So this is from Ryan. This is going to be super fun. So I can't decide if that should be something else. But anyway, so socks. That's what that's what we're going to be working on. All right, you guys have a great week. And let us know if we can help you. Text us, call us, email us if we can show you some colors. And we're trying to show you the new stuff coming in as it comes in. And um, yeah, we'll be in touch. See you later.